Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Fabulous. It's the weekend, and we do not have a guest today. I actually have two bonus stories that were sent in by a listener. So Okay, good. I have not had a place to squeeze them in because well, I guess they could have maybe fit as weird news. They certainly don't fit as good news, <laughs> but they they fit maybe as weird news. And one is just kind of a sad story. But uh, I've had these sitting here a while, and I thought, you know what? Today is the day. I'm going to finally get a chance to, to read these. So uh, a big thank you to Brian for sending them in. Also, got a couple quotes to get to today. Uh, the Saturday quote, because we do a Saturday quote and a Sunday quote right. for the weekend edition. Uh, it says, we ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. Marianne Williamson. I like that. They're saying, hey, don't be, don't be modest. Get out there and do it. Have fun and be yourself. George Bernard Shaw for the Sunday quote, people who say it cannot be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. There you go. I like that I like too. that one a lot. Me too. That's a good one. A couple of great quotes, a lot of fun stuff all on the way on the weekend edition of the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. We're in that special time of year, one of my favorite times when we celebrate with family and friends, but often that celebration involves alcohol, so please have non-alcohol options available. Sadly, too many times that's not an option, and that can lead to drinking and driving, and much worse. If you're having a party, have a plan. And remember, if you or someone you know needs help kicking a drinking problem, there's a toll-free number you can call, 800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380. John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It, well, let's do the whole darn weekend. How's that sound? That sounds great. Because we got uh, Saturday, November the 25th, and Sunday, November the 26th. Saturday, International Aura Awareness Day. Okay. Do you, do you see auras around people? No. I talked to a guy that said he sees an aura around people. I asked him if mine was good. He goes, oh, yeah, it's very good. I was like, all right, then I like you. Uh, <laughs> if, if it was bad, I would say, no way. You don't see no auras. You stinking fool. Uh, International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. National Parfait Day and Small Everybody Business. Everybody loves parfaits. That's right. Small Business Saturday. Then Sunday, November the 26th, is Good Grief Day and National Cake Day. All of that happening this weekend. So get out there and celebrate. John and Heidi. Are you paying a bundle to have the channels you want? And even more to have a DVR to watch the shows when you want to watch them? ChannelSurferTV.com wants to help. We have a few options that could save you 45% with Dish TV. Call 1-800-818-3967. See how much you can save by cutting the cable. Plus, we can help you watch on your mobile device. Call 1-800-818-3967. This is a limited time offer that can change fast. Call 1-800-818-3967. Or learn more at ChannelSurferTV.com. John and Heidi. We've got your brain on drugs coming up, but first, 71 million people is the that's the amount of people they expected on Black Friday. They they did their little calculations. I'm sure that's not an exact number, but they think that there were 71 million people out in stores on Black Friday looking for deals. Heidi was one of them. Yes, I was not. I I will say I was very underwhelmed by. The turnout that was on Thursday, though, that you were yes. underwhelmed. So, I mean, there was like, it, here's the, the thing I'm you cool with almost that. Hear crickets. I'm cool with that because I wish people could stay home with their families on Thanksgiving, so I'm okay with the fact that people said, No, we're not going out. All right, we got your brain on drugs coming up. John and Heidi. Each day at this time, we talk about people doing dumb things under the influence, but addiction is no laughing matter. If you or someone you know needs help, there's a toll free number you can call. 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline. 1-800-438-0380. And this is your brain on drugs. And it's not a person whose brain is on drugs this time. It's a whole darn bar. That's actually probably the owner of the bar. The Bavarian Beer House in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The Packers game promotion failed because everybody got to drink for free. Whoa. Here, here was the promotion last week. You get to drink for free 
until the Packers score their first touchdown. Oh, my gosh. Well, they didn't score. And it's been a long time since they've been shut out, by the way. 2006 was the last time it happened. So it was a pretty good bet for them. But it did happen. The whole game went on. And they continue to pour beer for free until they score. And they're hoping, you know, that that happens this weekend. <laughs> How much would that stink if it didn't? <laughs> so, like, the whole week, too, yeah, it's all free? Not I don't just know on, if it's just during the certain times. Games? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway. That's a bad, it is bad, a bad bet. If... But here's the thing. They're getting some national press out of the deal. So, you know, yeah, who knows? Who cares? Who's going to go to that bar from? <sighs> Not me. Yeah. It's You know, it's in Wisconsin. It's in, uh, where is it? It's in Milwaukee. That's where it is. Mm. So probably won't be going there. But if you'd like to learn more about it, I have a link at facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen. Forbes magazine says Beyonce is the highest paid female musician for 2017. So that's who's making the most. Now, speaking of people who are not doing so well, uh, Kathy Griffin. <laughs> things are going poorly for her right now so poorly she just had to sell her mansion in the hollywood hills five million bucks is what she's selling it for you before that's this is why you don't take a photo of yourself holding someone's severed head yeah you can't expect things to go well for you well and here's the weird thing i mean i don't feel bad for her she if, made if, her bed well, but here's the thing is- if she wants to have an opinion she can but this is where i think the biggest problem came she came out and said one thing and then she reversed and said something else. And then she reversed again and said something else. She never like, reversed and said she something did. else. She apologized and said she was sorry, but she never said she didn't but believe it. But she had it. those big crocodile tears. Yeah. Anyway, this has been your big screen, little screen, and it's brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. John and Heidi. This is the time of year to wrap up one year and begin another. For many businesses, that means a new budget is coming soon. Now, if you have some funds left in your current year's budget, we can help you make that go far. When you put words to music, they're nine times more memorable. So let us help create a jingle for your business that you can use for years to come. If you have some funds left in the budget this year, we can help you get it done now. If you want to wait until the new year and the new budget, we can lock in a special rate now and you pay later. Learn more at RadioReallyWorks.com. RadioReallyWorks.com. Now your scoop of the day. The Accounting Principles website is predicting the average Christmas bonus this year is going to jump by 66%. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. quite a bit. When can I, when can I expect mine? Um, I'm going to give you 2,000% more. A 66% increase of nothing is yeah. still I'm giving nothing. you 2,000% increase, Heidi. Yeah, Hiding. that's awesome. I'll I look mean, forward you know, to that. Since it's nothing, it's going to be easy. <laughs> Political poll found that 50% of voters... Think Al Franken should resign. There's a, uh, yeah. There's there's a lot of people that are a little upset about that whole deal. So I guess we'll see what happens. Then YouGov did a survey and found that 60 percent of women say that they personally have been sexually harassed at work. So they're saying, hey, this is a big problem. It's going on all over the place. Um, over 500,000 people attended the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City on Thanksgiving Day. 500,000 people. I've hmm. never gone to that parade. And it's not that I don't want to. It's not that I'm boycotting it. It's just that I've never really had that chance. But I always thought that seemed like an interesting thing. I don't even thing. watch it on TV. I don't like parades. I've never liked Even when I was <laughs> little, I, I didn't do. understand or like parades. I, I was know. like, why am I going to sit on the side of the road in the heat and watch cars drive by? Or in the cold in this case. <laughs> I could do that any time here's the cool thing if you do like parades all you got to do is go find a busy road in town sit on the yeah. side of the road eventually somebody will throw a something at every you. day i'm just saying hey texas congressman joe barton was forced to apologize after a penis picture that he sent to a woman was I leaked i saw online. that you, you saw the picture or what did you see I'm i saw to... the story about that i did <laughs> not see saying... the actual photo <laughs> i'm not Googling i've seen this. the man i don't think i want to see the photo <laughs> i'm just so. saying that. It's not a. It's not an attractive. It's not part, something no I want to look who. at of so, any man, honestly, because that is not the most attractive part of a yeah, male's I'm body. I'm not. I'm not going to Google it. We'll put it that way. Hey, speaking of bizarre nude things, Paris, France, opened their first nudist restaurant. I just don't understand why you would want to do that. Haven't we talked about this? Though? No, I don't think it was there. It was a different place. Now Paris, France has one as well. Apple confirmed that they have been using illegal student labor at the iPhone X plant in Beijing. That's too bad. Are you shocked? Well, I'm not. I'm shocked because 
I think it's sad that they're doing that. Uh, and, and I know that there are a lot of people that are going, uh, duh, we've known this for years. I just think it's really sad because, I don't know, I just think that's a sad thing. Although, I have to admit, I started working when I was a kid as well. I never looked at it as illegal labor. I looked at it as, you know, learning a skill early. So <laughs> maybe that's the positive way of looking at that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to move I'm going to move on. <laughs> well, Heidi coughs up a lung. Uh, Pennsylvania man facing charges after allegedly attempting to conceal multiple bags of shrimp from a store in his pants. So he was trying to leave a store with bags of shrimp stuffed down his pants. Once you stuff that kind of thing down your pants, are you going to take that home and eat it? I suppose. Oh, I think he planned on eating it. Yeah, I suppose it's probably in a bag and concealed, but I don't know. Still just doesn't sound like a doesn't sound like a fun thing to do. And what do you think of this headline? Grandparents are bad for children's health. Oh my gosh. What the what? Indulgent grandparents. Why? Because they give them candy. Maybe and... having an adverse impact on the grandchildren's health. Whatever. University of Glasgow suggests that, Heidi. They say they're inclined to treat and overindulge children in both diet and weight. The report concludes that grandparents' behavior has an adverse effect on the kids. Mm-hmm. They're inclined to feed the grandkids high sugar, high fat foods. The study revealed that parents felt unable to interfere because they were reliant on grandparents that are helping them out. So they're saying, well, I can't tell them, no, that's grandma and grandpa. So here's the thing. Um, I'm not doing an official study, but I, th- I think grandparents are good for kids, not bad. If the grandparents are involved more than the parents and the yeah. little bits of junk that they're giving your kid is having more of an impact on your child's life than what you yourself are having on your child's life, you need to get maybe more involved. you need yeah. to get more involved in your child's life. Absolutely. There you go. University of Glasgow, you can... You can just take your study and <laughs> crumple it up and toss it out the window. That's right. It's a lot better than what I was going to say. Going to move on. That's the end of our scoop of the day. John and Heidi. It's the most wonderful time of the year. No more singing, please. I'm trying to get everyone's attention to let them know that we made a list and we checked it twice. Who made the list? Okay, Heidi made a list, but I put it online to make it easy to find some of our favorite ideas for fun gifts. These are my personal favorites. I have several of these items myself. These are a few of our favorite things. Oh my gosh. You can see the entire list at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. Usually at this time I have a guest. Today, instead of having a guest, I'm actually going to share a story or two. If i got time to get to both, I'll get to both. But I've been... Thank you. I just got to say thank you. I've been getting some awesome stories sent my way. And when I can, I squeeze these in as like our weird news... Or are good news. Well, these are two. They could probably fit as weird news, certainly. But I I haven't squeezed them in, and I just feel bad. Uh, So today I'm taking the time, since I didn't line up a guest for today anyway, and I'm going to just share these. This one is uh, one that one of our listeners sent in from Chattanooga, Tennessee. The Brown family walked into the John P. Franklin funeral home in Chattanooga, and they were saying goodbye to their uncle, Benjamin Brown. However... The person in the casket was not the right person. Okay. Brown's nephew, Dominique, said, These people thinking they were kissing my uncle when they wasn't. They were kissing another man that's over in the morgue right now. Dominique said he discovered the mix-up because his uncle lost both of his legs due to diabetes complications. Okay. Open up the casket. If this man's got legs, that's not my uncle. This is a direct quote. They open the casket. You see legs. Nice pair of slacks, Dominique said. Following the discovery, Dominique called other family members, like Benjamin Brown's niece, Jasmine Mateen, to tell them the news. Mateen's daughter was killed just a, about a year ago, uh, so she already had some terrible things that were going on, just you know, struggling with her one-year anniversary of losing her, her child. Now, a year later, they're going through the death of the uncle while attempting to sort out what they call a big problem. The funeral home was contacted several times, the faculty sent a statement saying that they have been in touch with the family uh, and they're committed to resolving the issues they have. The family still doesn't know how this happened, and they said there's nothing they can do to fix this problem. That's what the family's saying, you know. So uh, I think that would be really sad. 
But I've got a link to the story if you'd like to read the whole darn thing. Can you imagine going into a funeral and, and it being somebody different in the casket? Here's the thing. They really had to say, well, let's see if he has legs. They couldn't tell just by looking at the face? Uh, apparently, maybe it was somebody that looked very similar. I don't know. Huh. I, I, there's not And if it was somebody who looked very similar, I could see how a mistake like yeah, that could happen. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But uh, there's not a photo. Uh, n- you know, it's not like I can click on here and see a, a photo of the two bodies. So right. I don't really know how similar they are, how, you know, how much they look like each other, just that they do. And then here's the other story that I'm going to throw in quick because I got a moment for it here. Uh, and again, thank you so much to a young man that sent this one in as well. Elephants found at the scene of a fire with a, a semi on the side of the road. So uh, I love elephants. I know you do. Firefighters were caught off guard during a tractor trailer fire. Three African elephants were on the scene. Now, here's what happened. Crews say the tractor was on fire, but not the trailer itself. So like the semi that was pulling it, that's called a tractor. That, that was on fire, but the semi-trailer was not. The owners were able to get the elephants out of the trailer, so they were being transported in the trailer. That's why they were there. The elephants were seen eating hay on the side of the road while the guard, uh, the, the firefighters were uh, up by the guardrail putting out the fire. Fire department wrote on Facebook, Chief Morgan said the elephants were huge but well-behaved. The owners were able to get another tractor in order to continue on the trip to Sarasota, Florida. That's where this, uh, this, that's where they were heading. I've got a link to some really cool photos where you see, you know, it's dark out. It was the middle of the night when this happened, but you see these elephants just standing on the side of the road. Oh. You never really think about that, but I guess you know. That's the kind of thing that would happen. So thank you very much for sending those in. And again, I apologize it's taken me so long to get those on. I've had them for, I don't know, a week or so now. Uh, but I've got a link to those stories, both of them, at facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. We're in that special time of year, one of my favorite times when we celebrate with family and friends. But often that celebration involves alcohol. So please have non-alcohol options available. Sadly, too many times that's not an option and that can lead to drinking and driving and much worse. If you're having a party, have a plan. And remember, if you or someone you know needs help kicking a drinking problem, there's a toll-free number you can call, 800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380. John and Heidi. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In 2015, there were more people killed from injuries caused by a selfie than there were by sharks. I can see that. There's yeah. more people with phones <sighs> taking pictures than We there watched are. A, a thing where we saw a story where a dude was taking a selfie on the edge of a cliff people and he backed stupid. off the cliff. Yeah. He's taking a selfie. He's like, yeah. And then they found in the photo that there were pictures of him falling off the cliff. Yeah, what an idiot. I mean, I just don't get the whole selfie fascination personally because when I do take a selfie, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I take it. I scare myself when my camera, even right away when my camera turns around and looks at me, I'm like, yeah, we're not doing that. I'm that's not, awful. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not selfie worthy. That's that's all. Hey, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The top six foods that make you toot are beans, corn, bell peppers, cauliflower, cabbage, and milk. I didn't know that about corn. Yeah. I didn't know corn made you. I knew it made well, you. now you know poop and then it came out whole <laughs> Would you just, but i didn't know it made you fart <laughs> Would you just let's just move on that's gonna do it for your fun fact <laughs> i'm not even gonna say who it's brought to you by thanks for listening <laughs> to the john and heidi show john and heidi. it's the most wonderful time of the year no more singing please i'm trying to get everyone's attention to let them know that we made a list and we checked it twice who made the list okay heidi made a list but i put it online to make it easy to find some of our favorite ideas for fun gifts these are my personal favorites i have several of these items myself these are a few of our favorite things oh my gosh you can see the entire list at radiosavings.com that's radiosavings.com now your word of the day, and I've been utilizing the grandiloquent word of the day, uh, and I've got a link to these on Facebook, Heidi. So if you, you know, if you ever get bored and you're looking for something to do, they have a whole Facebook page with all that kinds of That is good fun. to know. Yeah. They got, and since I didn't share these for Thanksgiving Day, I've got a couple of the Thanksgiving. Well, they're not really Thanksgiving. They just have to do with turkeys. I'm going to use them both today because, you know, after this weekend, 
You better be done with your leftovers. I'm getting rid of my leftovers right now. Snood. S-N-O-O-D. Snood. It's the fleshy, wrinkly fold of skin that hangs down over a turkey's beak. That's the snood. Hmm. And the waddle. W-A-T-T-L-E. That's the colored fleshy lobe hanging. I knew that was called a waddle. From the head or neck of a domestic turkey. I did not know about turkey. the snood. Snood and waddle. That would be a, a good name for a band. Okay, maybe not. Snood and waddle. It actually sounds that. like a hoity-toity restaurant, doesn't it? The kind of does. The snood and waddle. We'll see if we can get reservations there for New Year's Eve. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi. This has been your Weird Word of the Day. John and Heidi. Are you paying a bundle to have the channels you want and even more to have a DVR to watch the shows when you want to watch them? ChannelSurferTV.com wants to help. We have a few options that could save you 45% with Dish TV. Call 1-800-818-3967. See how much you can save by cutting the cable. Plus, we can help you watch on your mobile device. Call 1-800-818-3967. This is a limited time offer that can change fast. Call 1-800-818-3967 or learn more at ChannelSurferTV.com. John and Heidi. Always got some weird news for you, and take a listen to this. Bruce John Homer, age 61, was so angry about people driving recklessly through an intersection that he intentionally caused an accident. Crashed into a car that disregarded a stop sign. Homer set in wait. Wow. Then he told officers that people are always running through the stop sign at this intersection. He expressed frustration that, quote, you guys, meaning law enforcement, never do anything about it. So he did. The driver of an SUV that Homer hit said he was coming through the intersection and Homer pulled out in front of him in his truck. The man said Homer then approached the wrecked SUV and told him, hey, you ran the stop sign and this is the 10th accident at this intersection and they won't do anything until someone dies. Wow. I can understand being upset. Homer was charged with aggravated battery yeah, with a that's, deadly that's weapon. That's a bit much, though. Reckless driving and causing property damage with personal injury. Here's the thing. Um, I'm not saying what he did was right because it was no. clearly wrong. But they should have they should have done something and said, you know what? We will come down and patrol that area and write some tickets. I mean, have you ever heard of a police officer that doesn't want to write a ticket? And if there have been... You know, one after another, after another, after another that's going through this stop sign, maybe it is time that they do something about it. So that was the wrong answer, though, Mr. Homer. You don't cause an accident just to prove your point. That's your weird news. Brought to you by Radiosavings.com. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh. Anthony Stokes, he's only 14 years young, and he has the desire to take selfies. And that led police to his arrest. Because he stole an iPhone Here to do it. Here we go. Yeah. We just talked earlier about people doing dumb things with selfies. A pizza delivery driver told police that an iPhone and a makeup items were stolen from her car while she was making a delivery. Both, uh, because both of her work and personal phones are synced up, police were able to see selfies the thief had taken of himself. Oh my god! Along with the selfie of a gun on the stolen phone. Police pinpointed the location a short time later, and they caught up with the teen. He was arrested for burglary and grand theft and possession of a firearm by a minor and loitering and prowling. So there you go. Busy night there for yeah. Mr. Anthony Stokes, age 14. I got a link to that story at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This is the time of year to wrap up one year and begin another. For many businesses, that means a new budget is coming soon. Now, if you have some funds left in your current year's budget, we can help you make that go far. When you put words to music, they're nine times more memorable. So let us help create a jingle for your business that you can use for years to come. If you have some funds left in the budget this year, we can help you get it done now. If you want to wait until the new year and the new budget, we can lock in a special rate now and you pay later. Learn more at RadioReallyWorks.com. RadioReallyWorks.com. Coming up, we got some good news. Before we get to the good news, I got—I don't know if this is good news or if this is just average news or whatever, but um, Amazon is working on a free streaming video service. Right now, they have Amazon Prime where you pay almost 100 bucks a year to do this. Right. This will be a free ad-supported video service. Okay. So they're working on this right now. Most of their movies and shows are behind this $99 a year Amazon Prime paywall. So if you don't have that, you got uh, no movies for you. Huh. But uh, with this new thing, you'd watch them, but there would just be commercials. Now, there's an app called Crackle, 
And there's another one called Pluto. Uh, we've actually utilized those, and we've watched TV shows Have and movies we? and stuff. Yeah. But do you remember? We would watch the com- – they would stop for commercial, and it it'd be the, the same, same commercial one. commercial every time. It was awful. Sometimes four times in a row. Yeah. And you're watching this like, are you serious? And there were Subway ads and uh, – State Farm. It doesn't matter or what they all were state for. Or somebody. It was ridiculous. It was just the same thing over and over and over. And I was like, "Boy, get another client." <laughs> this is kind of. I kind of feel bad for you. <laughs> so hopefully, I'm sure Amazon will not have an, any problem finding clients. They, they do okay from the sounds of it. But we got your good news coming up. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with some good news, and I think this is good news. People can pay their parking fines with cans of food for the hungry. That's Whoa, a neat idea. That's a great idea. It's a very cool idea. So expired parking meters, they're now helping feed the hungry in a portion of Kentucky. Second year in a row, people in Lexington can pay their parking fines with canned goods for the local food bank. See, once again, Kentucky. We were just talking about Kentucky. Yeah. Parking violators I like Kentucky. can donate 14 to 15 ounce cans of food for their typical $15 parking fine. So you can donate 14 15 ounce cans. Does that mean you can do- donate 14, 14 of them? 14 15 ounce cans. Okay. That just seems, it says like 14 to 15. Anyway. Uh, it's it's more expensive if it's a more ex- in- <laughs> hey guys how you doing if it is a more expensive infraction the city's parking authority will accept even more cans so they're saying you know if you've got like a twenty dollar fine or a, a big fine in 2015 they did this it's called food for fines I think it's wonderful in 2015 alone the innovative uh, little effort that they put together brought in six thousand two hundred cans of food. For more than 600 citations, yeah. worth $14,000. Collectively, the program now has gathered about 16,000 meals, which is about 24,500 cans of food. I think that's amazing. Weighing a total of 12 tons. I have a link to the whole story if you'd like to read the whole darn thing. I just think that is absolutely awesome. And it's a cool idea. And when you're paying your parking fine you kind of feel good about it a little yeah. bit because you're helping people I, I would double park on purpose i think i think it's a wonderful <laughs> wonderful i idea. wonder because i got where do i have it here i got a, a speeding ticket right here <laughs> first one i've had in years by the way um you think i could pay this with canned food items <laughs> no <laughs> that was a bad subject to end on wasn't it yeah <laughs> heidi is not happy with me all right that's gonna do it for our good news Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. If you'd like to read this good news or any of the other weird things we post, it's all on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show.